Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to talk about wireless light switches versus Wi Fi light switches. And you might think, aren't those the same thing? Well, actually, no. There are some big differences between wireless light switches and Wi Fi light switches how they operate, how you can interact with them, and how they can be used in your home. A Wi-Fi smart light switch is a light switch that can be controlled via the internet through your phone or with a smart voice assistant like Google Home or Alexa. So I've got a Wi-Fi light switch right here. This one is from Leviton, but you can see this Wi-Fi light switch has wires on it, right? This has to be hardwired in order to connect to the internet and communicate with your Wi-Fi network. Now, there are such things as wireless light switches. We've got one right here. This is a Philips Hue smart light bulb, and this is a Philips Hue wireless light switch, okay? There are no wires on this thing at all, and you can even pull this thing off the wall like so, but it also does have some peel and stick pieces on the back here, and you can just peel and stick this to the wall and use it to control this wireless light bulb. So this light bulb will screw into a standard light fixture. You just take out the old light bulb, screw this one in, and then you can program this wireless light switch to control this smart light bulb. Now these don't need to be connected to the internet in order to work as a wireless light switch. You actually pair this remote to the Philips Hue smart light bulb first, and then these will work as a pair, as a smart wireless light switch and a smart bulb without any wiring. This is just screwed into the light bulb socket, and this can be placed over your old switch or on the wall next to your old switch and covered up, and this will work just like a typical light switch to control this bulb without even any internet control. Now you can also connect the Philips Hue smart light bulb in the remote to the Philips Hue app if you have a Philips Hue bridge, and that's going to allow you to control the color intensity of the smart light bulb as well as set timer schedules, all that kind of stuff. But if you wanna use the Philips Hue wireless light switch just to control a light bulb or a series of light bulbs, you can do so without any wiring. You just screw this in, no wiring involved. And I think that is a really unique value proposition. So I have used these uh, for closet lighting and I had a pull string closet cord and I would need to pull that string to turn on and off the light switch. Well, it was kind of an inconvenient location to turn on and off that light fixture. So I put one of these in, I paired it with this Philips Hue and it allowed me to retrofit that and have a light switch for my closet, which was much more accessible. So that is one way that you could use these wireless light switches. And there's a couple other things that we'll get to with the wireless light switches. Uh, in how they work in another option for wireless light switches. But before I go too far, I wanna explain why a Wi-Fi light switch potentially has a few advantages over a wireless light switch. Um, and there are some places where a wireless light switch has advantages over the Wi-Fi light switch. Um, but a Wi-Fi light switch, there's a number of different brands. This one is Leviton. This is Leviton as well. Uh, there's a Lutron Cassetta. Um, this is another brand as well, a wireless dimmer here. And the Wi-Fi light switch, what is nice about this is let's say that you have a series of light fixtures controlled by one switch. You've got four or five light fixtures controlled all by one light switch. You put this in, this Wi-Fi light switch will control all of those. So you only have the cost of the Wi-Fi light switch versus the cost for multiple smart light bulbs and then the cost of the wireless light switch and mount and then the Philips Hue hub. Now most Wi-Fi light switches, they don't require a hub. They're just gonna connect directly to your Wi-Fi router and you can control them. So you don't have to buy all those smart light bulbs, which can get expensive. Um, you can buy this and control multiple uh, lights or multiple light fixtures with this. Another advantage is then once you have installed these, let's say your Wi-Fi goes out, 
this smart light switch will still work like a normal light switch. And there's some things that can happen, some functionality you're gonna lose with why wireless light switches if you don't set them up right and your Wi-Fi goes down or your internet goes down. With the Wi-Fi light switches, even if your internet goes down, this is gonna to revert to working like a normal light switch that you're used to. You don't have to worry about anything. It's gonna work just like a regular dimmer where you're gonna be able to turn it on and off just by pressing it or adjust the dimming. You just lose the functionality of being able to remotely control your Wi-Fi light switch. Another advantage of installing these is that they are a nice way to update your existing light switches and they fit in all kinds of existing light switch outlet covers. So when you take out your old light switch and you put this in, you don't have to cover anything up. You just remove the old one and you can use that existing light switch cover or replace the cover with something newer if you wanted to update it. But it looks built in and it looks good. You know, it's just an update to your light switches. The problem that you can run into with these is that um, let's say you have an existing light switch controlling the fixture that you put this smart light bulb in. Well, you can put this over it, but there's no real good option for putting it directly over the existing light switch. So a lot of people just put this to the side. Well, then what happens is people who don't live in your house or maybe a visitor guest or maybe a family member goes and turns off the light switch that controls this, well, that cuts off the power to this light bulb and you'll no longer be able to control it with the wireless light switch. So one option for reducing that issue is you can go on Amazon and there's some plastic toggles that you can put over your light switches so that they remain always on so somebody doesn't turn them off. And then you can use this as a wireless light switch next to the existing hardwired switch. The only disadvantage of that is that this doesn't look as built in as that uh, Wi-Fi light switch that will operate just like a built-in light switch and looks like a normal light switch or an updated normal light switch. Here's another light switch. This is a Lutron Cassetta. Um, and this is a Wi-Fi light switch. It actually operates on a different protocol, but it essentially connects to a network hub and is built in. So that is one disadvantage of the wireless light switches is that issue that you have with the switch. If it gets turned off, you'll no longer be able to control this light bulb. Another thing to note with the Philips Hue wireless light switch and bulb is that you wanna make sure that you pair these directly first before you pair them to the Philips Hue hub. And the reason for that is that you want these to work in the event that your Wi-Fi network or internet goes down. You wanna still be able to control this even if your internet goes down. And these do directly pair. They do not require any kind of hub or anything in order to operate this light bulb and a wireless light switch. They'll pair directly together without a wireless network. But you need to make sure that you do that first so that these will be able to be controlled even if your internet or network goes down. If you add them to the app on Philips Hue first and connect them to the app versus the light bulb and light switch first, then you can have problems where the app will not function and you won't be able to control these because they're connected to the app versus directly being connected to each other through the Zigbee wireless protocol that connects these two. So just an important thing to note with the wireless light switch and the Philips Hue smart bulb. And there is another option for wireless light switches, okay? This is the Lutron Aurora wireless light switch. And this will actually work also with a Philips Hue smart light bulb. And this is designed to connect over the top of an existing lever switch. So you just go ahead and you throw this on top of your existing lever switch, and that will then turn into, you turn it on and off by pressing, and you can dim the light bulb by rotating it. So the advantage of this Aurora device with this smart light bulb is that this goes right over that existing light switch and it eliminates that problem where the light switch can be turned off and you no longer have control of this smart light bulb. So this will go over the top of an existing lever style switch, which is typically that older style switch that you just uh, flick with your finger. 
So this will go right over that and solve the issue of that turning off because this is mounted directly to it and you no longer can turn off that light switch unless you remove this, which is really easy to do. You just snap it off, no big deal, if you had to turn it off for some reason that this wasn't working. But the batteries last in this a long time and they directly connect to the light bulb just like the Philips Hue remote connects. It's just in a different package, a different design, and it fixes that issue that we talked about where the light switch can be turned off. So just an interesting way to solve that. Now there's one other way that you can have a wireless light switch with a Wi-Fi light switch, okay? And that is Lutron Cassetta. So what this is, is a wireless switch. There's no wires, this is battery powered. Um, and the batteries in this thing last 10 years or so. Now this is a Wi-Fi light switch. So let's say you have an area where you have one light switch currently controlling a set of fixtures or a light fixture in a room. You can remove the existing light switch and hardwire in this wired Wi-Fi light switch, okay? This is from Lutron Cassetta, and that will control those light fixtures. Now let's say you wanna control that from the other side of the room or you wanna add a light switch to it, so like a three-way switch. And typically where you find three-way switches is at the top and the bottom of the stairs. You have two light switches that control one light or one set of lights. So this Lutron Cassetta Pico remote, which looks just like a built-in Wi-Fi light switch, will connect to this light switch and allow you to control that set of fixtures from more than one location. So this is a wireless switch combined with a Wi-Fi switch that then allows you to control one set of fixtures from two locations or three locations or four locations. And what's unique about this is that you can install this with a cover plate and it looks just like a built-in switch, but you don't have to add any wiring. So if you wanna add three-way or four-way switching, which is when you can control your light switches or your lighting from more than one location, you can do that very simply with this without adding any wiring all you have to do is replace the existing light switch that you have installed already controlling those fixtures and now you can have multiple locations and the installation of this on a wall it looks almost identical to this as a built-in light switch or you can actually just remove this and use it as a remote but this little bracket is designed uh, so that you can just install it into a junction box or you could install it just with a cover plate so you don't even have to do the junction box you just put this a cover plate right over it, you screw the cover plate to the wall and you are good to go with this, uh, with that Lutron Cassetta light switch. Now that does require a hub in order to have smart home control and functionality of it, but the Lutron Cassetta and the Pico remote does not require a hub if you just wanna use these as a three-way or four-way switch. You won't have smart home control of it until you have the hub, but you can directly connect these two without a hub, which is a great way to add a three-way switch if you don't have the wiring for it and you don't wanna run the wiring in your home for a three-way switch. So overall, as you can see, there is a big difference between wireless light switches, like this Philips Hue completely wireless light switch, and a Wi-Fi light switch, like either of these that work on a Wi-Fi network and connect to the internet for control. Now the wireless light switches can connect to the internet for control, but they have no wiring at all. They're battery powered and you're gonna need a hub for this wireless light switch in order to install it versus these are a more permanently installed installation where you don't have to have multiple smart bulbs. You can install one of these and control multiple lights or multiple bulbs with just one switch if that's how your circuitry is wired. So we hope you enjoy this video. Please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support us, click on any of the links below.